What's up guys, Rob here, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and in this episode we're gonna go start heading towards the Fire Temple so for that we're uh, going to go into Darunia's little um, chamber I guess and there's gonna be a hidden statue, or not really hidden, a hidden entrance to the uh, crater and which is by pulling this uh, mysterious statue over here so last episode we got the Goron Tunic which is gonna allow us to survive the high temperatures of the volcano or the the Death Mountain crater, like that, that, like right that, and uh, so we're gonna go down here, and to get down here, we need to use the uh, the hook shot. We're gonna hook onto this little, uh, if I can aim, if I can aim, thank you, this little wood pole, and we're gonna start going towards this place. And oh, oh, it's sh guys, 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 chick, it's uh, oh, it's another song, guys, it's another song. It is something that grows over time, a true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. I don't know, I was going for a British accent at the end there. Didn't work out. Magical. It's a magical tune. Oh, it's such a beautiful tune. It's probably one of the most, one of my most favorite songs. Actually, talking about songs, I uh, recently made a video uh, entitled Top 10 Ocarina of Time Songs. And uh, of course, Blur Fire is included in there. I'm not going to tell which number is it. You'll have to go look at the video and find it out. Uh, yeah, I worked real hard on that video, so you guys should just check that out. That's on my channel, by the way. You've learned the Bolero of Fire. All right, so, Link, I'll see you again. What does that mean? How do you know that, huh? What if I just stop playing the game and I'll never play it again, huh? What if I do that, huh? What, what, what are you gonna do? Like, I just never come back. I'll just, I'll stop the let's play and I'll never do it, huh? 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 That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But yeah, so, uh, fun fact. Um, now that we have the Bolero of Fire, we can teleport right here. We need to come back here as a child, plant a magic bean and as well as a bug, so we can get a Golden Skull, ch uh, golden skull Chola. Uh, and as well as a magic bean plant, so we can get a heart piece. So I'll come back here when I'm a kid, okay? Okay. Alright, so we're back as a kid, and now we have 1 minute and 36 seconds to plant the bean and plant the bug. Plant the bug, so that you can get your bottle, bottle of bug. And uh, again, same technique, we're going to drop the bug right on top of the hole, or the soft patch of ground. And then as soon as we are able to, we'll... Can I... No, 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 yes! Okay, I got it at the last second. Jeez, I thought I was going to lose the bug right there. I didn't though. And it's gonna come out, almost hit me, but didn't. Ha! <laughs> How you feel now, huh? You didn't get hurt this time. Yay! Golden Skull Chola! Alright, so now that we've got that, we're gonna plant the bean so we can come back as an adult and actually do something. So let's. Oh, I'm gonna poop the bean out. I'm gonna poop the bean out. Right? Whoop. Look at that. Alright, so now that we're set, we're gonna come back here as an adult, so I'll meet you guys here. Alright, and we're back as an adult now, and since we planted the bean, there should be a magic plant right here. And this magic plant is gonna take us up into the air, of course. And it's gonna lead us to this little uh, piece of ground right here where there's gonna be a heart piece. So we're gonna jump. Oh no! Oh, I thought. I, I jumped and I, I hopped on the plant bean again. I thought it was gonna take me away. But again, uh, we're gonna get another heart piece right here. It's gonna be a heart piece number, I don't know. <laughs> number, I don't know. That's gonna put us two pieces into our new heart container. And uh, now we're ready to head into the fire temple. So uh, that's, that was a uh, heart piece number 22, by the way. If you guys are keeping up with the walkthrough and all that stuff. There you go. I didn't quite die there. Alright, so now that, that's it. That's what we have to do here. So now we can actually go into the fire temple. So let's go in here and do that. My phone is ringing, so if you can hear it, my apologies. My sincere apologies. I am not... I, there's no way I can do the... <laughs> I'll just talk louder now. And this is the fire temple. So, uh, again, this is one of, probably one of uh, my most favorite temples of the entire game. Uh, just because there's uh, fire keys. I'm just kidding. No, I hate fire keys. But uh, yeah, it's one of my most uh, favorite temples of all the game, of all the game, of the game. And, uh, so first thing you want to do is want to head to the left, to the door on the left. You're going to open it up and we're going to meet an old, old friend. Hey, it's Darunia! Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is, Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on the Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon Vovagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. 
If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link, I am asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I am trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are in the opposite direction. I am counting on you, Link. That was my that was my Darunia. It was probably my, probably the best voice I've ever done. So yeah, um, somehow Darunia went inside with the boss key. Oh, what what's that thing? I don't know what was that. That was like you guys see that like on the top of my screen. Anyways, so he wants us to save his people. Sure, I'll do that. But uh, I'm concerned about him. I mean, he's just going in there without the legendary hammer. I mean, is he gonna be able to take on Volvaga by himself? I don't know. But here's our first uh, Goron. We're gonna save. And uh, each Goron is going to give you a little tip for the dungeon, so let's see what this guy has to say. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to, leads to a room above the ceiling right away. And then he'll go away and just magically vanish. Do -do -do -do. And usually every single... Uh, uh, cell room is gonna have a key inside that we're gonna be able, uh, be able to use so that's that so now that we've got that we, we're gonna head back to the uh... Oh, okay all right uh, another thing uh, if you fall into lava really don't worry about that much as you can see I didn't take any damage at all and I was probably there for like a good three seconds so if you fall into lava don't think like oh I'm doomed no it's okay it's, you're not gonna die it's not like the the crater uh, so we're back to the first room and of course there's gonna be more fire keys but there is uh, a door on the right which uh, required a key but now that we have the key we can actually go through the door and uh, this is the uh, I guess the second main room and uh, again there's a lot of lava but don't be intimidated by it so uh, you want to head to the left of the temple and uh, these little um, I guess pillars or, st or those kind of platforms uh, there's two possibilities uh, as you stand on them they're gonna start shaking and they're either gonna start sinking or they're gonna shoot up in the air so you know just heads up there so here we have another prison cell I like how like the prison cells have like this little special uh, uh, rock you know they look like more darker but uh, here's another Goran uh, let's see what he has to say so this is the same um, dialogue I'm not gonna read the, the same one I'm just gonna read the, the actual tip a wall that you can destroy with the Goran's special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword so that uh, by special crop, I'm I'm guessing they're referring to the a bomb. Uh, even though there is no uh, flower bombs in the in this temple, I just find it funny how they tell you to do that. But yeah, got another key, some small key. Now this 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 dungeon is filled with keys. This is just a keyathon. Like I'm, there's so many keys in this dungeon. Like, uh, and it's more uh, I guess it's more difficult than the fire the fire uh, the forest dungeon or the fire temple. The forest. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. Forest temple. But uh, over here there's gonna be uh, one of those. Um, Blocks of time, and of course we need to play the song of time, which I cannot remember. Uh, right down, right, right a down. That's the song. So we just play it. Oh wait. There you go. I, I messed it up like twice. I was like, what am I doing? But yeah, uh, I think this is the only block of time actually in this temple. I'm not sure. Uh, I might be wrong on that one. But that's gonna bring it down. And uh, since we already checked the uh, room below us, it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be an obstacle, but it's going to allow us to come back up uh, or go up there. And in this room, there's going to be a new enemy and a bunch of those little things, those things that uh, spin. will come towards you, so just use your shield. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, which way you're pointing at them as long as you block them. They won't hit you. Uh, I'm not sure how much damage they do, but hey, it, no damage is better than, than damage, right? Am I right? And there's going to be a new enemy on the side. There's also a uh, golden sculpture over there. And uh, let's investigate him. Like like an enemy that eats shields and certain clothes. Beat it quickly with, uh, beat it quickly to get your gear back. Now, the, one of the most embarrassing things to do is to get eaten or not eaten. Well, yeah, technically eaten by a like like. So you want to just take him out with your bow. It's the easy way to take him out. If he does eat you, he'll probably take either your shield or your Goron tunic. So you just want to kill him as fast so he can you can give it back. All right, 50 group is not bad, not bad. We got another uh, golden sculpture right here. Let's see if I can uh, hit him like that. There you go. Look at that sweet epic. Let's grab it. There you go. You destroyed a golden sculpture. You got a token providing you, pr proving you destroyed it. I think I never read that line. I think probably like the first golden sculpture I killed in the, back in the Deku Tree, but I don't know. So that's it for that room. There was no Q room. It was just literally just getting a golden sculpture. So that is that. So now that we're done here, we're actually going to go... Uh, I think we're going to go... Where are we going to go, huh? Uh, huh. Where are we going? 
I think we need to go either across or to the left. I'm not exactly... Okay, so I fell there. And, uh, oh god, it's full of fire in this. No wonder it's the fire temple. Oh my god, can I please get on the platform thingy? No! Oh my god, I'm gonna start burning because of the fire. See, I've been I've been standing on the fire for a good, like, uh, I just don't get burned at all. Oh my god. I was gonna cry, but I couldn't make it up there. I think we're supposed to go towards that ledge over there. I'm not uh, entirely sure, but we'll find out. So that's one of the platforms that sink down, but there's also platforms that like shoot up. Okay, so this is one of the walls that we're talking about. As you can see, if we hit it, they sound different. As you can see, it's like a really, it's a really, really tiny sound, but listen. It's like a higher pitch at the end. So that's how you'll, you'll know if um, you can blow it up with bombs. So luckily, we do have bombs on us, so let's equip them. That's it. No, I did not mean to throw it. I meant to set it down. Nice. Like that. And this hopefully doesn't hit us. There's going to be another room in here. Another door to open. Another part. And again, another cell. Uh, again, the same uh, type of wall, I guess. It tempts out of a uh, texture. And let's see what this Gorn has to say to us. Are you really? You know, same, uh, same stuff. For saving me. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate. But you can also use the Gorin special crop to do the job. So those are the, the crystals that we, uh, I think we saw one of those back in the uh, in the ice cavern in the ice cavern when we were trying to do the uh, bigger on sword uh, side quest. So you guys know which those are. Hey, another key. So that's it for this room. We just have to go uh, towards the right now, I believe. So yeah, towards the right. <laughs> yeah. So towards over there. All right. Let's see if. Uh, so I'm gonna prove. See, I'm just gonna just run by the fire. As you can see, it's like marking my footsteps. But again, I take no damage. Which I mean, I guess it's pretty. I don't know. I would. I mean, it, I'm okay with that. I'm I'm okay that it doesn't burn you. But uh, it would be more challenging if it like if you touch it, you would like lose a heart. All right. So this is one of the first puzzles, I guess. And uh, honestly, I I was stuck here for a very long time. And um, they don't tell you this, but you can actually climb these things. You can climb those. Um, and I was stuck in here for a good half an hour the first time I played this dungeon because I didn't know that you could climb these And again, you can use your hooker to get back up there But you can climb these and uh, that's where you're supposed to go by the way <laughs> Couldn't figure that one out There's gonna be some bats here. It's not some bats some keys. Jesus Robert. Don't you know your uh, Zelda Lore and there's uh, also other keys on the other side, but uh, we don't really need them and there's hearts over there as well So there's one of the block. This is a block we can push down and uh, so we're gonna push them down and uh, as you can see there's some sort of fire like sh some sort of fire gazer, I guess. Uh, I don't know what to call it. There's a fire thing that shoots up, and uh, you're supposed to block it with the, with the with this block. And what this block will do, it's uh, it will allow you to shoot up into the you know, ceiling, I guess technically, and it's gonna allow you to reach this room right here. And there you go. So the key that we need, we already there you go. We're out of keys now. We're out of keys. And this is or this is a very interesting room. So as you can see, there's a Goron there, and uh, we can't talk to him. And uh, there's no way of releasing the cell other than from the other side. So, but uh, we'll get that a room in a, in a bit. Okay, so there's a new type of enemy right here. Let's uh, see what they are called. Torch slug. When the fire on its back is extinguished, it will run away, destroyed before it relights. So again, uh, you hit it, the fire will go away. So you need to hit it before it uh, comes back to life, I guess. Or the fire comes back. So again, they're just enough enemies. They're annoying, always, you know. There you go, just like that. And uh, I don't know what this fire resembles, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but that's one of the switches I was telling you about. Now you can do a cool glitch here that you can, um, uh, I think it's called a, a bomb jump. I uh, I can't do it, I tried, I, I can't do that jump, so I'm, I'm just going to do it the, the way it's supposed to be. And uh, you're supposed to push the block around over here uh, until you get over here. You're going to pull it um, until you hit the end of this little path of the block. So one more, and then should we do it like that. Can I use my hook to get up there? I think there's certain surfaces, uh, surfaces like that that you can't actually use it. So again, you have a uh, limited time to uh, use that. Uh, wait, was I able to climb that? I don't know. Okay, I wasn't because I needed that little uh, extra little small little change in uh, height. Wait, can I uh, jump? Thank you. All right, so I think the best way to do this is to use a bow uh, actually from the top. There you go. So what you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to drop a bomb like right here. Like that. You want to run over here because that switch what's going to do is going to it's going to make the fire, that fire right there going to go away. So you have uh, you know you have to run to climb this thing so it doesn't burn you up. So that's probably like the best way that, oh, again there's that there's the, there's that certain glitch 
you can do with uh, bombs. I don't know how to do it, and I'm not gonna bother doing it. But yeah, let's go into this room. Now this is uh, another, this, I swear, this dungeon is full with interesting rooms. This is uh, considered the maze room, I guess. And this is filled with uh, rocks and, uh, and paths that lead nowhere. So you just wanna be careful of the rocks, but I think the first thing we want to do is go to the left here. It's going to be a little switch, and of course it's going to open a prison cell to another Goron that we just saved. I think we have, what, like four or five now, I think. Let's see what this guy has to say. So again, are you releasing me? Yes, I am. I mean, I clearly just opened the door. In this temple, there are doors that fall down. When you try to open them, when you try to open them, <laughs> when one of these doors starts to fall, move. If you use a sample of the Goron special crop, you can break it. So there is uh, doors that you, if you open them, they'll like wobble a little bit and they'll fall on you and they'll make damage. Um, so, you know, just heads up on that. But we're not going to be using bombs to destroy them, we're just going to be avoiding them. And then I'm pretty sure there's going to be another key. Yeah, there you go. And there's going to be a golden sculpture to the left here, so hopefully we don't get uh, squished down by rocks. They're hard to predict we're going to come. Okay, so this rock is going to go in there. Uh, there's no point in me coming up there. No point at all. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the golden sculpture is. I don't have the map, so it's very confusing. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Ah, uh, that was my bad. Okay. Now I know. What, I now I know what I'm supposed to do. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go next? Okay. There we go. And then we're gonna come all the way up here. We're gonna go all the way to the right. And oh, there you go. Um, let's get the golden sculpture first. So uh, as you can see, there's a little, there's a, little, uh, a door right there. But you want to come to the other side over here. And right here, you can hear the golden sculpture. And if we hit it, we hit that high, th that high pitch sound. That means we can blow up that wall. So let's blow it up. And it's gonna open up this wall, and we're gonna get another golden skull tour. Sweet. Do, 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 do. That's gonna put us to what? I think 59 should put us to. Yeah, 59. Sweet. Dude, we're like almost done. I'm just kidding. We need like 40. Wait, 40? What was it? 41 more? Yeah, 41 more. Look at that. We're halfway though. We, we, we're way past halfway. So now we actually wanna go through the, the door we saw a couple minutes ago. Let's go through the door. Uh, and this is gonna lead us to another cell, I see. The, I know, the, the texture of the wall is different for every cell. Well, not for every cell, but like, the texture is different, except for the, I don't know what I'm saying. Another Goron, let's see what this guy has to say, what secrets he has to, uh, reward me for him. When you are on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword, or by rolling forward. Did you know that? I actually did not know that. I guess the only time we get caught on fire is if we step on the lava for too long, or a, a fire key. Uh, burns us up, but I, I, I've never been set on fire in this temple. I'm just kidding. I probably have. Who am I kidding? Hey, another key. That's what two now sweet All right, so now what we have to do is uh, there's actually a locked door and that's like on the middle of the room I guess you want to call that we can call that the middle of the room. Okay. Hey, 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 hey Hey, hey, hey. Oh god. It's gonna, it's gonna crush me down. I don't want to I don't want to I don't want that to happen now Do I this door right here? Let's open it up. Let's oh, 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 open it up and, uh, okay, so this is a very, uh, okay, so if you fall, you're gonna go back to the first room, I'm pretty sure, or you're gonna go down to another room that is not this one. So what you wanna do is, uh, shoot that, uh, shoot that, that, that eye again with an arrow, and this is gonna open that door, and that's gonna lead us to the map, and, uh, we're probably gonna end the episode right there, so, we'll see, though. Uh, yeah, cause I'm, uh, I'm a little bit over 15 minutes, a little over, I'm like 3 minutes over it. Hey, uh, big chance, I wonder what's gonna be. No, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the map, but, uh... It should be the map. Uh, I think... Uh, I don't even know. I think we're probably a little less than half done with the dungeon. So that's pretty okay. Let's open the other door and we'll end the episode right there. How does that sound, guys? So again, the door will lock again, but we really have no... Uh, no! Oh! Okay, I want to end the episode right there. But uh, yeah, I want to... <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. Uh, yeah. I failed. Oh, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's this way. So, yeah, um, I fell. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you didn't enjoy the video and you, you enjoyed watching me fail at the last second, um, uh, be sure to leave a Oh, my God, this whole thing again. Be sure to leave a like below, and uh, hopefully I won't fail again. But uh, I want to try my... Uh, I want to try my... I want to try to get back up there, but uh, again, uh, thanks for- No! <laughs> god darn it! Can you stop using your god- Oh my god, see now I'm getting hurt by the fire. Okay, um, I'm dying. I'm gonna stop right- No, no, can I- Oh my god, please. How am I supposed to get back up there? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. God damn it.